can you hear me up there? About uh, how long will I be able to do this? I would like to continue taking the weather and be a hold of my common sense as long as it is accurate. Richard became a co-op observer at the age of 18 in 1930. Little did he know, 84 years later, he'd be taking observations still. 78. He claims that the stations never missed a day, and it's true. The wind is northwest. Clear, partly cloudy, cloudy. When it starts to rain, when it stops, measure how much rain fell right to within one hundredth of an inch. I take the weather. No rain. Record it with government weather instruments every day. It's what they would like, and I'm here on the farm, so I do it. Today, we awarded Richard with the Richard G. Hendrickson Award. He is the first observer to reach 80 years. And in fact, he is approaching his 84th anniversary. All those 84 years have, have given us an unbelievable data set of climatology for not only the east end of Long Island, but it threads into the fabric of the climatology for the entire country. To this day, every morning, he calls in his observations. National Weather Service, this is Patrick. Hello, this is Bridge Hampton. The high is 78, and it's a little... And we're very thankful for that, because when he talks to us in the morning, there's many times he gives us some recollections from the past. Of all the signals of the sea, none turns the faces of hardy sailors more grim than the flags that spell hurricane warning. September 21st in mid-afternoon, this tropical terror struck... The blue houses away. It blew your fruit orchard or door. It blew the corn in the field that you're going to put in the silo flat. The ocean come up over the land and took a lot of houses that were built too close to the ocean. The barometer readings, the wind direction, the wind velocity, the amount of rainfall, I kept track of that all through the 38 hurricane. And the wind direction and the sky condition. He often says that this is what I do for my country. The low in the evening. To get a good handle of whether the climate is changing and how much it is at any one location. You really do need a longer range, more than 10 years of data to get any kind of idea of where the climate is going. Because we had some snow before that. And uh, that's, uh, it's life with agriculture. You've got to live and work and play with mother nature. She's the boss.